because things do get very challenging. They get dark, they get lonely, all those things, but it's really, it's your choice. You know, when you see a lot of bodybuilders out there who are grunching and groaning and angry and pissed off and they're angry and all that stuff, that's a choice. Give you guys an idea of how all this works. So since I haven't competed in the last year, every year we have to buy our membership. We have to buy our pro card and uh, request an application. Then we get our application sent out. And then once we have filled the application out, sent it back with our money transfer or it's even a receipt, they'll send out our pro card and then they will give us the contracts to the, to the shows we want to do. So I'll kind of give you, kind of bring you guys through that right now. So I'm just on my emails now and I'm, cause I just basically emailed them the other day they get back to you very fast okay so kind of blow it for you guys so you can actually see this over here so you basically have your is everything here and here's basically my application so you know what am I competing in this year 2012 2012, 212, first name, and then basically the competitions I listed I want to do, and they get all this, and they'll send me out the contract to those. And then once you get those and sign it and send it back, then you can be penalized um, for not showing up to the show. So, you know, they make, uh, they keep accountable. Um, so I'm going to print this off. Oh, there we go. I had a, uh, a question, I had a question, I saw it in the comments, someone was like, man, I really hope your mental health stays where it should be during this process. And I'm so happy that someone said that. I'm so sad because I want to talk about that. In the past, I've been good with bodybuilding when it comes to my mental health and whatnot. It is a very challenging thing when it comes to, you know, you just fighting against what your body does not want to do and does not want to get down to sub, low, par, you know, single digit you know, body fat percentages with the amount of muscle I have on. So doing that in a sense, we're going against evolution and your body's gonna fight back as much as it can. We have to force our body to be in a position to be on stage that's not sustainable whatsoever. So I'm very, you know, happy that I'm at a place now where I do have so much control and I believe I know that this is like, this is probably the best year for me to compete because my Mental health is where it needs to be to do this as optimal as possible. And that's the biggest thing people understand is this thing needs to be on par. Like it seems this thing needs to be like leading the charge in the optimal way, in a positive way, because things do get very challenging. They get dark, they get lonely, all those things. But it's really, it's your choice. You know, when you see a lot of bodybuilders out there who are grunching and groaning and angry and pissed off and they're angry and all that stuff, that's a choice. That is a choice. That is a choice that you're, that people are making due to how their body is responding. You know, they're hungry, so they're hangry. You know what I mean? They're low in calories, so they're grumpy. Yeah, for sure. Those things 100% happen, and it's understandable. I'm not saying, you know, that, that doesn't happen, that's a lie. I'm saying those things do happen, but it's your choice whether or not, you know, how you respond. Like everything else in the world. Like how are you going to respond to your coworker saying something? Are you going to punch him in the face? You know what I mean? Are you going to... You know, how do you respond to your spouse or your kids or your friends when they do something that makes you react in a way where you have to choose whether to respond in a negative way or a positive way? And I know what's coming because I've done this. I've been through this process. I've been able to grow through this, uh, grow into the sport and understanding it from a very young stage in my career till now being, you know, where I'm at with my life, with my career you know, my business, YouTube, all those things, being a father, husband, all those things there. And they all, all of those things will play a part in this process, a huge part. They're all stimulus. They're all triggers in a sense. They can all add to your stress or add to your happiness. And that's really your choice. You know what I mean? So here is... is this is it. We are going to fill this bad boy out in front of you guys. And, all right, so, is this gonna work? It is, all right, so here we go. First name, 
Johnny. Oh, look at that. Messed up. Yoink. <laughs> Shreve. So that is done. So I have to send off $275 American. So for us, it's over 300 bucks Canadian for one time for the year as a professional athlete, I pay to play like all the uh, amateurs, but the amateurs have to spend money on basically registrations and whatnot. So I guess the benefits of having a pro card is I only have to do it one time. Do I agree on that? You know, we're not a, we're not a mainstream league so you know as many pros are as there are you really can't have everyone do it for free right because shows are ran by promoters it's not like you have teams and organizations that are paying athletes and so forth like that right so when it comes to this one then i used to be like you know we got to pay for a pro card if i'm a pro I shouldn't have to pay anything but when you think about it you know the grand scheme of things there is i don't know how many athletes there. there's a lot of athletes and Athletes, when it comes to the league making any money, everything's ran on a promotion basis. So all shows are ran, they're sponsored events. So like me and Greg, we're both promoters. We're all promoters for shows. For us as an amateur promoters, we can actually do bigger shows if we want to, but it costs money for sanctions. But as an amateur promoter, we have to, we charge uh, registration fee, membership fees, obviously, but the league takes that. Then, you know, hair, tan, makeup, we have a percentage we take from that. And, you know, then sponsors. So that's how a lot of the shows are ran. It's solely based on sponsorships and whatnot and, and you know, your, your services. So if you think about it, if you took out just the amateur, like the actual registration fees, you're losing out a lot. So it makes sense for the league to charge the athletes because then the athletes will go to the shows right so we pay the league and then when we go to the show because we're going to the shows it attracts people to the show so when it comes to professional league professional shows they make money based on obviously sponsors their services and whatnot so a lot more heavier on the sponsorships than anything else because they don't have the registration fee coming in so right but we pay for tan you know, tan, hair, makeup, nails, all that stuff that we have to pay for that the, you know, tanning services, makeup services, whatever, will give the sponsor, will give the, you know, promoter a cut. So they'll make the money that way. So that's how most of the time, that's how most of the money is made here. So everyone's basically, it's like a one man show for everybody in a sense where the promoter really doesn't have the league giving them money. The promoter has to pay the league a sanction fee for them to run to make money off the show from your ticket sales and everything else like that. So after this kind of a year when there's been you know, the cove, a lot of those shows have lost the audience and lost those ticket sales. So, you know, I'm glad that uh, the show is still running and, you know, give us something to compete. It gives us a, you know, the ability to compete and follow our dreams still. So that's a process. That is the process on when you're a pro. You got to do one of these things. Send it in. Send your money. And then we're off to the races. So that's it, guys. It's getting more real and more real every single day. And I'm stoked. So I really appreciate you guys and the support that I'm getting from this. This is the first time I'm competing when I have this much of an audience that's supporting. So it makes this so much more rewarding in a sense that, yeah, I, I'm an athlete. I'm an athlete and a competitor to heart. So I am not going to do this because I just want to do it for fun. I can't do anything for fun. That gear is already been switched on and I'm ready to go. So, you know, I am competing to win. I don't, I don't not compete. I, that's all I know how to do. I've been competing since I was a kid. But when it comes down to it, I want to bring the best I can bring for you guys and for myself 
and you know how the chips fall that's how they fall but i'm going in this to do my best and to win period just let you know i'm like i ain't no slouch i'm not in here to to just you know play patty cake with everybody like, hey man thanks let's compete yay it's a fun competing no, no no i'm in this to, i'm in it to win it but the right way and hey guys thanks for following guys make sure you guys follow subscribe and follow because i'll be putting this out for the rest of this prep all the way we got 11 weeks 12 weeks and then like 16 weeks so 16 weeks straight of prep behind the scenes let you guys see exactly what it's like for a pro athlete to you know pro bodybuilder that owns a business running youtube and all these things family all that stuff what i have to go through what i have to deal with you know and for those who are out there competing themselves or the amateurs is something you can look forward to you want to see what it's like to be a pro I'm giving you that look i'm giving you that behind the scenes look anyway guys for coaching guys johnnystreet.com if you guys don't know about coaching 15 30 minutes guys after that if you guys want to go with coaching deduct the phone consult off any package you pick whether it's recurring or just a one-time plan guys use my code johnny15 for 50 percent off the, the power 13 cookbook and all those delicious recipes like my favorite obviously the grilled cheese breakfast sandwich and guys follow me on instagram underscore john dave underscore i'm gonna take everything i'm doing on here i'm gonna give you some guys some more behind the scenes stuff on there as well too so add me underscore john chief underscore and send me some of your you know training posts or whatever i'll repost it for you because you guys know how it is iron shepherd's iron progressive overload your life in the meantime keep dream chasing peace <laughs>